for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a full breakdown for you guys today. A full offensive breakdown from the New England Patriots offensive playbook. This is my number one most requested offensive playbook on my community tab the last time I put up a poll. Uh, and it's been a pretty heavily requested playbook throughout the year. So uh, if you guys don't know, Every month when the game comes out, I try to give you guys a full offensive breakdown. Although it's not the full offensive breakdown, uh, if that like you would see on my Patreon, on my Join Our Community tab, or in my ebooks, it's a good portion of it. It's the majority of it. If you guys wanted to check out my ebooks though, or you want to see any more full offensive breakdowns, all that stuff's linked in the description below. I have 28 out of 32 offensive playbooks done on my website. Links in the description below. You guys can check that out. That's the whole purpose of this, uh, other giving you guys a free offense to use. It's also to try to encourage people to check out my ebooks because you get a lot of uh, content like this. If you guys want to see me continue this series though, every month uh, do a free offensive breakdown or even a defensive breakdown. Number one, let me know in the comment section what playbook you guys like to see next. And number two, hit the like button in the comment section to make sure that I keep doing these every month. Other than that, thanks for watching. Let's get right into the video. Next up, we got the Bunch Trail. Streak the B route. And against cover two zone. Uh, Waller will find space in that gap once again. Pretty much every route here beats man. Uh, I would say the RB route is probably the best, but you can see the drag will beat it. The comeback route will beat it. The R the uh, the R1 route will beat it. Let's go let's do the A route real quick. Like I said, that's something that uh, typically man coverage has a hard time covering. If you want to get the RB route, though, you typically against man cover two, like I mean, you have to streak. And then you can see how this guy will get open even against a cornerback like he's facing. Against cover four, just block everyone. Um, you, can, you can't block um, the B route or the RB route, but you basically block everybody you can block, I should say. And then the X route here is going to get past uh, the safety over the top for another easy one-play touchdown. So that's the way for him to get inside the free safety. Go to the replay real quick. You have to wait for this receiver to get inside the free safety here and then bullet and pass lead away because he's well beyond what this strong safety can do to come back and get into the play. Next up, we got the corner strike. Again, it's cover two, pretty much any zone. If you streak the RB route, the B route will typically get open, but against cover two, it's going to be especially, you know, open. But pretty much any zone will have that effect. The table route's a good play against cover three on the left side, cover three and cover four, as typically the cornerback will pull back so far that he won't be in play. But you get an easy one play touchdown just by streaking the RB route and motioning out the B route. That's all you really have to do. It's best run from a hash mark, but you can see we're gonna have a lot of success even without doing that as he gets right up the seam there. If I run from a hash mark, I'll probably have a wide open one play touchdown. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Run from the hash mark to the open side of the field, and you'll have a lot more success. So we'll do that one more time. So in that RB route there, as long as I throw it before that safety has a chance to react, that should be gone. But he's coming over and keeping me from scoring a touchdown. But still, easily won't, I won't play touchdown. I'm gonna put him on a fade this time. See if that really makes a difference. I said I'll help him to get out there a little bit further. And I want to score a touchdown. Maybe Deverne is just not fast enough. As you can see, he's almost getting going. Next up, we got the mesh spot. Just put the B route on a streak. That's all you really have to do. And you're gonna get an easy one play touchdown over the top against cover three. As you can see right there, the uh, cornerback just basically turns around uh, because he's more concerned with the, uh, the wheel route coming underneath him. Next up, we have the gun bunch verticals. So I'm gonna do it again from the other hash mark, delay fade, slide protection. So I'm gonna roll in that direction anyway. And here you can see the cornerback glitches out a little bit more from the other hash mark. So maybe it's not specific to a hash mark, but you can see how either way it has success. So this is what you're watching for with this cornerback. Basically, he's just going to uh, dumb out a little bit and go towards the delay fade, leaving this cornerback for an easy, you know, bullet pass it away from the corner for an easy one-play touchdown against cover three post patch. Next up, we have the verticals. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to motion out the B route, put the 
X route on a drag. That's all you really have to do. And the B route here will get open outside of the cover too. Now you can also streak the A route to pull that safety back. But I don't feel like it's 100% necessary on this particular play. Well, we'll do that again. Like I said, against cover two, you can get a really big play up the sideline for a catch and run as long as you throw that ball on timing correctly once he passes the cornerback and bullet and pass it away from the strong safety. Against cover three, just motion this guy out here and you'll have a lot of space in the seam to the A route. As you can see, he just gets open right in that area. Next up, we got the middle high low against um, cover two and cover three. You can motion this guy in, put him on a streak. Go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll pick Tampa 2. And you're going to see that the, uh, the B route can really have a lot of success outside and be a very big play. It can typically be going. Next up, we have the, slow, the strong curl. Run this against random defenses. All I'm going to do is put the X route on the street, motion them in. Whenever it lets me put the A route on the drag, you can put the RB route and the B route on any number of check downs you want. They're not really critical to the play. But uh, this Y route here, I don't know what defense that was, but it doesn't really matter. Man or zone, it typically has that effect. Not against man as much. The drag would typically be the man read. We'll go ahead and we'll go with uh, cover three. Just give myself uh, something that we can see for you know what the actual zone is instead of guessing after the fact. But, uh, but yeah, you can see once again, same thing. Wide open in the outside because of that drag. Cover two obviously will have that effect. Let's go and let's do that one time. It's going to be the same thing though. Uh, the Y route's going to get open. Although he's getting open a lot easier. He's rounding that route off pretty poorly and it's still wide open. So any man or zone that's going to be successful. Any zone that's going to be successful. Any man's going to be the drag. Next up we have the PA deep outs. This is a good man cover two play and a good zone play. As the Y route here typically can split the, uh, the two deep safeties. Whether it's man cover zone or, or man zone or cover... Whether it's man cover two or zone cover two. Against man, a lot of times he'll be lined up against like a linebacker, which is why he'll have that exact same success. We're safe. That was actually a cornerback if we still had success, but it's the inside release that makes that successful. And then your outside routes are all check downs. Next up, we have the levels Y sale. It's not a play, I'll go random. The RB route's really going to be best against uh, cover three and cover four, but if you have a speed advantage, I mean, you can even beat man coverage. You can see right there, it still got out enough into the flat. That was a man, though. Uh, but ultimately, the RB route's really best against zone coverage. As you can see, that zone chuck is really just gets that guy off of his spot to the point where the running back just gets open instantly. Now, the, the check downs, like the B route and the, and the Y route and all that stuff, I mean, the, 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 po the corner route does a really good job of getting open against most zones, especially if you have a good tight end like I have here. But ultimately, I mean, these are, you know, this is all about the flat and all about the corner route. The, the, the crossers will make good check downs, but it's really more about these two routes on the right. Next up, we got the stick. So just put the A route on streak. And once this uh, B route gets past the cornerback, just bullet pass lead to the sideline. And you have a very big play. The Y route's good against cover three, and the X route's good against man. Next up, we have the inside zone. This is the best run play in this formation. You can see a lot of times that receiver will come over and seal that linebacker, so if he does that properly, it's definitely a big help. Sometimes the, uh, the, the, the guard will get off to that level too, but you can see it's a very successful inside run, just as long as you're looking at a favorable defense, which is either matching or less. Next up out of the trailer flex with the PA crossers. The tight end's a good man coverage beater. That's really the only um, thing that makes this play different than a lot of other plays that I put out where basically, you know, this is a good man being rack, especially if you have a good tight end. But ultimately I want to run this against random plays and just put the tight end on a streak, put the wire around a drag, and these uh, crossers will get open against just about any defense. Uh, you just basically watch, I mean the drag and the, and the deep crosser will both pretty much get open. So you're just basically watching the high low routes. Man or zone, doesn't really matter. You're just watching the, the deep crosser and the drag, uh, as you can see here. I mean, I accidentally hit the wrong button, but they were both open. If I go to the replay, you can see that both of the receivers were open. It doesn't really matter the defense. Let's go, let's do that again. I like to block the running back too, because I don't want, the, I don't want that play action to get in the way. Here we go once again. It looks like a couple quarters uh, matching principles. It still gets open. It doesn't really matter. These crossers kill all that. Next up, we get the halfback stretch. 
So another game, run play against cover three and cover four zones. Typically, the cornerback drops back, so there's not typically anybody out there to hold this stretch down on the outside. You can flip it and run to the short side if you feel like they're overstacked to the uh, to the strong side. You can always take it opposite field, but I don't really feel like this is necessarily the best way to go. It's just something that if, you're, if your opponent overshifts, you can easily just flip with the right stick and go the opposite way. We'll try that one more time because I think there was there was something there. As you can see, boom, we get a little bit of a seal on the edge from the, from the receiver, and we can have a big play to both sides of the field except we have the PA cross. This play is a natural one play touchdown against cover three. I like to typically give myself a little more blocking like one of the running backs, but you can see this cornerback out here doesn't really react to the deeper route. He kind of reacts to the fullback in his area. I'll go to the replay there. I didn't get the one play touchdown, but we'll go to the replay just to show you what I'm talking about. This guy here uh, typically just hesitates out in space. He doesn't get that same type of reaction where he just kind of shoots to the crosser like he does in some uh you know post patch uh you know plays but still very very um a very explosive play against cover three we're going to run that again we're going to do that again i don't have my fastest receiver running this and i could block that y route that's the one thing i got a pass lead up a little bit but you can see there's a very easy seam there against cover three defense if you run this from the open sideline uh the open hash mark to the open side of the field Against cover four, you can have a big play also. Just block the running back. I'll slap my protection to the right because I'm going to probably roll in that direction. And then you can see how once this receiver crosses the safety, he's behind the cornerback. So you can get a very, you can get a one play touchdown. If I had Marcus Hollywood Brown running, it'd be even easier. The crossing routes are all very good plays against man or zone two. You can motion this guy and just put him on a streak and just run the A and the B route, run high to low, um, you know, across the field too. One of them will get open pretty much every time. Next up, we got the PA sale. Okay, this is about any man or zone. You can put this B route here on a streak, and the tight end will do a pretty good job of getting outside of it. Uh, that was a band coverage, uh, but ultimately, like I said, any man or zone, that, uh, the, the cornerback out here will typically follow that streak. This will probably be, hopefully get some cover threes and cover fours. Although here, that just looked like a cover four quarters, and then the B route went right past that safety. So, got to keep an eye on that. That looked like a cover four quarters. You can definitely have success there. So, I'm going to do that again. Like I said, I'm typically staring towards the A route, though. There we go. We get that looks like a cover three. Um, we just get a very easy play. Against cover three, you can just streak the B route, and a lot of times you run from the hash mark to the open side of the field, this B route will get right up the seam, as long as the safety's not right over the top of it. If he's center field, it might be an issue, but ultimately if he's all the way to the end, or to the left like this, it's not. This is by the eye from Z close with the wide receiver curl. The B route here is a very good man beater. You just have to wait until he gets outside the cornerback and the bullet and pass it outside. It's not typically going to get you more than five, maybe ten yards. You might be able to get a catch and run and turn up a little bit. But for the most part, this is just a really good spot play. Uh, if you need a certain amount of yards, this should get it just about every time we get the man coverage. Next up, we have the halfback zone week. Play is if you have a hole right in front of the uh, the guard there, that fullback does a terrific job of typically opening up the next level of blocking. I find this play is best to kind of be run uh, wide, although here it looks like we probably have a blitz. I'd probably switch over to a different run play here, but ultimately, um, you know, this is a very good run play that can be treated like an inside zone and also convert kind of like to a stretch play. So right here, nothing in front of the you know the guard. So, you, you know, that, that fullback just does an excellent job of just filling that hole and busting you to the next level. It's really easy to hear those, you know, blitz and safeties don't going to deter me because I'll probably run right past them. And then you can see how we're just having success uh, right up the gut. Typically, it's an up the gut run towards the left. But like I said, you can take this outside uh, once you get through to that first area. Like I said right there, you see that's not even a fullback running that. And he's having a lot of success taking on that lead block to that linebacker. Next up, we got the PA comebacks. It's another cover three one play touchdown on old gen consoles. Against cover three, you have to run this from the hash mark to the open side of the field, bring this receiver in and put him on a fade. You have to wait till that receiver passes 35 yards before you throw the ball or you will not be able to pass lead, which is ultimately what you need to make this play work. As you can see right there, it gets past the, uh, the safety. It wasn't the best throw, kind of slowed down. But just to watch the, I'm going to watch the replay real quick just to see what you're looking for as far as the cornerback goes. I mean, he will slow down at about, you know, halfway there. And then at this point, you still have to wait until he passes 35 yards before you get the ball out of the quarterback's hands or else you will not be able to pass it. I'll show you that in a second. Although there, that was pretty close. That must have been bang, bang. Because, yeah, it's leaving my hand right at the, 30, at the 34, so who knows. Maybe it's maybe it's the 34-yard mark, but still, wait till he gets to 35 yards before you try to throw it. If you do that early, you'll see this will be the result. I'm going to throw the ball early and try to pass lead. 
right there he was just getting covered up like i said that is too early and you can see it's just a jump ball at that point you can't pass it outside beyond before that point except we have the pa comebacks this play here i'm just gonna put the b route on a drag you have a comeback on the other side which is a good check down against man the b route's good against man too but if i cancel this play action i can immediately flip it out to this guy in the flat a lot of times although there that was actually a throw a lot of times you'll get a pitch animation so let's do that again like I said, you can just get this pitch and then you get a lot of times you get a really good catch and run because the, you already have the momentum there. So if you watch that, that's something I use that a lot in a goal line set. Treat it almost like a, uh, a halfback pass or um, a halfback shovel pass. But you can see right there, a lot of times it'll come in to, to block as well. So you won't always have that option. But that check and release can be a really big play. If you notice he's going out of the flats right away, just basically throw it to him, uh, get it out to him. Like I said, a lot of times you get a pitch, which is better for, um, you know, for acceleration. Let's go let's do it again. Like I see, you got to cancel that play action and they can get that pitch. And then, you know, it's just something that's going to confuse your opponent. They're not going to be used to seeing what they're going to think is a run play uh, in something like that. As you can see right here, like I said, you get that pitch once again. The defenders aren't even turning around. I'm just gone. I'm <laughs> just on the sideline here with a huge play. So, like I said, that's a really glitchy play. It's one of my more favorite plays in this playbook. Next up, we got the triple option. This play here, if I have my choice, I want to run it behind the tight end, but there, there's an extra defender. So I'll hold it, flip it out last second to the uh, the pitch back on the other side. That's really all you're looking for is which side has the edge, you know, which which side do you have the the edge to. Like right here, don't really have the edge. I want to go to the fullback side, but based off the or the tight end side, but based on the fact that that guy has the outside shoulder of the tight end, he's going to shut that down. So pretty much here, once again, like I said, I'm going to have to go to the pitch side. Anytime that I have the advantage over here, this is going to be the side that I take it. You can keep with the quarterback, although there I probably should have put a little bit more juke, a little more polish on it. But this particular formation I'm in, I don't think I'm ever going to have that outside edge, so I'll just force it and take it take it wide because that, to me, is the better play, holding the A button. And it's just a more, it's a more sure thing because the pitch on the other side can be an issue. You might not have Lamar Jackson, the quarterback, which can be an issue. So all these things combined really makes it, to me, best to just hold the A button nine times out of ten. Next up, we got the halfback wham. It's just a good inside run play in this formation. Uh, I find it's going to be best to run against uh, cover two man or zone with the safeties play back. They'll give you the best opportunity on inside runs. Next up, we got the Z option. I find it's best on a play like this to motion this receiver out just to isolate him on the cornerback and smart route it. You can also block the running back, block the RB route if you need to, put the A route in a drag for a check down, things like that. But ultimately, um, this X route here pretty much gets open instantly against pretty much any man coverage. I said you don't have to uh, smart route him, you can leave him as is. I still find it's best to give yourself some sort of check down and a drag though. That's going to be one of the most important things because this route here, to me it works no matter what, but you're going to see that um, it's still best sometimes to have a check down. If it's an all out man blitz, you're going to need that. Next up we have the bunch dig. Against cover three, I'm going to motion across one of these receivers, it doesn't really matter, put them on a streak. Then I'm going to put the X route on an out route of five yards and the RB route on the delay fade. Block my running back, that's all I really have to do. Uh, this is going to be a one-play touchdown against cover three to the B route as the uh, all the streaks in the delay phase is basically play with the, um, the safety in the middle. It has that same success against cover two. I'm going to do that again. I said cover two, cover two zone, cover two man. It's going to be the same as all these delay fades and everything just basically mess with the safeties. Here we got a, a man coverage. So it's going to be the same way. Just as long as that, uh, that that RB route doesn't get out too early, it's going to have the same success against just about any single defense. You really want your, your slowest player at the RB route because you don't want him to get out too early. If he gets out too early, it could be a problem. So I messed that up by audibly the wrong guy. So let's go ahead and let's do that one more time. Like I said, I can get all my adjustments in. Before I motion this guy across, lock my running back, slide my protection. And the B route here will get open against cover two man the same way. Because you can see it gets right over the top of the safety and he's too fast for the man coverage. So very easy to play. One play touchdown against just about anything. Pretty much the exact same setup here. I don't need any adjustments though when it comes to cover four. I just need a speed advantage. 
Except we get the halfback counter weak. It's just a good run play. I mean, you have a fullback in the formation. Um, you know, a lot of times you're pretty much just left with a straight ahead run. At least here you have an option to go the opposite way if your opponent uh, is, is spending too much time paying attention to the bunch. This is probably one of the better counter run plays to run um, in the formation. So the, sh the shift gives them a little bit of time to, uh, to change their defense, but ultimately it's a very successful run play. Next up we have the PA boot slide. It's another play you can run against random defenses. Um, the you know the B route, I mean, especially that's going to be something that if it's like a cover two man, we've gone over quite a bit. That um, that's something that you can just low throw bullet pass inside. You'll have a lot of success if you know it's a cover two man. I would say it might be best to put the RB route on a streak, uh, but this is definitely not a cover two man. This is definitely going to be a man blitz. So the X route here is going to be one of the better um, plays against man, especially if it's a man blitz because it's pretty quick. But ultimately, either the A route's a really good crosser against man. Uh, the RB route here is a good crosser against man. You can see right here, it looks like we have a man cover one. And uh, we have the receiver just streaking across. So, you know, this is a play where it's really a front-to-back read if it's a man or zone, once again, really between the RB route and the A route. Here, it looks like we have cover three. Might have been a cover three blitz. Uh, we just have success right over the middle. So, ultimately, you're kind of reading uh, the RB route and the A route for the most part. The X route's your check down against man. And the B route's your cover two man beater. Um, then you have, like I said, at the RB route here, that's really, you know, any cover three or cover four, I'm typically looking for him because there's another, never typically coverage underneath. Next up out of the single back bunch, we got the quick pitch. This play here, I mean, it's, there's no real adjustments against cover three or cover four, you're going to have the most success. Next up, we got the TE hook. So these are your plays against cover one, cover man, or any man coverage really. So all I really want to do, I mean, I could put the RB route here on a drag just to kind of um, create a high low, and he's also a pretty good check down. But realistically, I mean, I, I like all these routes. This is a really good man being route to the outside. You have some really good um, man being routes to the, you know, over, though typically that's where your user might be. So you have to be aware of that. But you can see there's just, you know, there's just man being routes. Anytime you have really... Uh, yeah, these squiggly line routes, I don't know how else to put them, but they really do um, a really good job against man coverages. You can just steal that pretty much all game, and this has a really good series of man plays. So let's go and let's do a cover two man, because that's a little different. That there, I mean, I can put this guy on a streak. Um, if I want to, just try to pull that coverage back. But like I say, you can see the results are the same. We're going to have that pretty much all game. I will say against man cover two, because a lot of people like to do the... Um, do these, um, you know, these type of curl flats. Although I already I messed one up, uh, but these type of curl flats here. You know what I mean? Like if you have that, that's going to be another reason to have that drag because you're going to, you know, it's going to take away that outside guy. You got to go over the middle. It's going to force the ball over the middle. But at least you'll have two options. Next up, we got the verticals. It's a really good cover three play, but you could also run this against just about any play. Uh, all you have to do is put the A route streak and the B route on a drag. Uh, which I didn't really do. Let's do it against the RB route on a streak, my bad, and the B route on a drag. Uh, you really have the same type of crossing route uh, setup that I've been uh, going over in a lot of my different uh, plays. But, you know, that's pretty much something you could run against just about any defense. That was a cover four quarters. Uh, we could go ahead and do that against man. Man cover two. Let's go let's do it again. If I didn't do that right, there we go. So like I said, I mean, the B route's already open, the A route crosses, but that's something. I'm not suggesting that route will always be there, but either that or the drag will be there. Um, we'll go and we'll do that against something like a cover three. So let's go just do that one more time. Like I said, this is something where everything should clear. The B route's already open, the A route's coming open, although realistically there, that was something I probably should have threw a little bit quicker. But um, you can see it doesn't really matter. That's something that you can do. It's a pretty easy setup. Um, against just about any defense, but if you have a cover three, this is probably best against cover three Because the RB route really just gets open right to cover three seam. It's just the way it discovers So you can motion out the uh, the outside receiver to try to create more separation But it's not something you really have to do. It's something that I just do through habit and It kind of gives away where you're going but against cover three especially this RB route is typically going to get open right to the seam now against cover two, you just have to streak the RB route and the B route will get open above the cornerback here. Um, you definitely want to run that from the open side of the field. As you can see, I run out of space pretty quick. You can get some explosive catch and run type of plays as long as you run it from the open side of the field. So we'll go and do that again. Cover two. 
Tampa 2, put this RV around a streak. Get this B route here over the top. And like I said, you get some really big catch and runs. Safety catches up. We got a superstar out there, but you can definitely get some big plays doing that trick. Next up, we got the Z spot. It's another play that's good against random. You just want to put uh, the B route here on a streak. It's not really a man beating play, but you'll have a lot of success against zone with this flat and then and the route above it. That looked like a man cover zone. So we're gonna go, we're just gonna, we're gonna switch over to some of our man, our zone cover concepts. So got the B route here. Like I said, the RB route will be open right away. The A route will be open over the top. Really easy series of plays. We'll have the same effect against cover three. You look at the same two routes. Said so this is something that you could run uh, with success um, over and over again. It's pretty much any zone coverage. Now, as far as your man coverage goes, you're probably going to want to put the X route on either a comeback or a slant or a curl or a, you know a drag and in route, something like that. Any concept that beats man, we'll go ahead and we'll beat. Uh, we'll put the cover three up again. We're going to motion this guy across. This here has success against cover three in a one play touchdown capacity with a setup like this. As you can see right here, we just basically split the uh, the safety and the cornerback. We're going to have an easy one-play touchdown against cover three. Next up, we have the bench switch. Against cover two, or really any coverage, you can run this a couple different ways. You could put the uh, Y route on the street, put the A route on the drag. You'll have a lot of success that way. Um, against cover two zones, you can see it really does a good job of pulling the, uh, the safety and the cornerback apart. You could also motion one of these guys across. And do a similar setup where you're streaking. I um, mean, you know, I can create a bunch concept. Put the 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 Y route on the flat. It has the exact same effect as you can see. We're just pulling apart the cornerback and the safety. There's a lot of different ways to do it, and you can do that exact same setup against pretty much any zone, and the uh, it'll have success. The, especially the X route will have success. This player works pretty good as is, though. You don't really need to do a lot. Although the X route here, um, you'll have you know much more opportunity for the receiver to get caught by the safety if you don't put something to pull them back. Against cover three, like I say, you do the exact same setup against any zone. It'll pretty much have the same success as you can see right here. The X route gets open outside of it. Doesn't really matter. Cover two, cover three, cover four. But if I move the ball over, go ahead and I'll motion this guy over, streak everybody inside. And we're gonna have a very easy play up the seam to the uh, the receiver there. You can see the safeties can't react in time. Next up, we got the drive flood. It's a man beating play for the most part. So we'll just pick cover one man. Pretty much all these routes are man beating routes. Um, you can see the tight end is probably the star of the play, but everything here beats man, except for the B route. The B route's the only one that doesn't. The Y route gets across the formation pretty quick. It's a really good check down. Uh, and this is just, so it's just a bunch of man beating concepts, although they're, oh, they're, oh, they're only over the middle. Next up, we got the halfback zone weak. Against zone, you can motion over one of these, uh, either the tight end or the receiver. I've made a lot of motions in this formation, so it shouldn't give it, you shouldn't tip your hand by any means. Uh, and then you can see you can have a really successful run play uh, behind that uh, that diamond uh, cluster of receivers. You can flip it if you want to. You can run it as is. Like right here, we have a lot of spacing going to the strong side, the tight end side. But typically, you want to go the opposite way of the cover three safety. And that's pretty much the play. Like I said, you can make any number of motions here. You can motion the tight end if you want. You can motion the receiver. It doesn't really matter. The tight end, obviously, a lot of times is a better blocker. So in a lot of scenarios, that would make the most sense. But it's a very consistent run play in this formation. Next up, we got the jet sweep. Another play that's going to work best against cover three, cover four zone, man coverage and stuff like that. But you can see it's just a very, you know, it's a quick inside handoff, which a lot of formations you have a lot more time where these receivers are motioning across. So the fact that this is so quick should give your opponent uh, a little bit of a harder time stopping it. So it's going to be best and great. We have the cover three safety in the box out on that side anyway. Run to this side. Except by the tight way off, we have the PA post dig. It's a good cover three play with no adjustments, but you can put the A route on a streak. You can also smart route the B route if to shorten that route. Um, it'll have a little bit more success, but ultimately you're just waiting for that B route to cross. And then you can see here, he's just going to get behind that uh, that cornerback and pass that safety. You don't have to make any adjustments and it'll work the exact same way. I find it's best to put that guy onto a streak, but the B route here can take a lot of time getting behind uh, a lot of the uh, coverage. 
as you can see right there, it's getting jammed up a lot. So to me, straight, putting the A route on the streak is probably gonna be the better way to go. The B route here, like I said, the only reason I was shortening it is because I didn't want him getting caught up too much. But you can see you can get a very explosive one play touchdown um, if you if you have the time and if he doesn't get jammed up too much. Let's go and let's watch the replay there. Like I said, this guy here, it seems like he gets bumped around a lot less if you streak that tight end. Uh, and then there's nothing with space here. There's about 15 yards of space to throw that ball into the end zone very easy. Against cover four, put the X route, a drag, and motion out the B route. And this is pretty much going to be an easy uh, one-play touchdown, just as long as I wait for him to get inside that safety again. And then he gets across the formation. Even with uh, Tyron Matthew lit up in the zone, he still beats it. Just have to uh, basically, once again, wait till he gets inside the strong safety and bullet and pass lead away because he's well beyond the free safety's control. If you get a good, good enough pass lead, it'll be an even easier play. I think get a great pass lead. You can see Tyron Matthew almost caught up. But the better the pass lead, the bigger this play will be. Also works against cover two zone. If you can find that. Tampa two. Uh, yeah, or, or, I don't want any more hard flats. Let's go. Let's go. Um, there we go, cover two drop. Against cover two drop or cover two whatever, you just motion this guy across by the X route on the streak. You can, like I said, you can smart route this to shorten it again. It's not that necessary to have all that space. And you can see we're getting a very big play against uh, cover two, cover two zone as well. One play touchdown against both. So we go to the replay once again. Like I said, this flat route here, as you can see the check and release will get that cornerback to react. And just leaves this guy just wide open for an easy bomb it up touchdown. Next up, we got the PA pump go. Another good man play, just gonna wanna motion him out and isolate. I'm gonna put the Y route on a streak because I'm doing that a lot. I'm gonna put the A route on a drag. Block the running back. This is pretty much a play. On the right side, we have your man beater. On the left side, we have a zone beater. Although, on, the, on this side here, you're going to really need him to get past that cornerback a little bit better. That was not a really good uh, release by, by Ruggs. I also want to move the ball over. Let's go and let's do that. We'll do that one more time. Set motion out Ruggs here. Put him on a smart route just to shorten that. Put my A route on a drag. Put my X route or my Y route on a streak. The running back doesn't really offer too much. Here you can see that cornerback bit a little bit more. And you can see we're just having a lot of success getting over the top. I want a little bit more bite on the play action than that. That's really the only real issue here. So let's do that one more time. So that B route there, he gets us gets really bit on that. So that's that's really what I want. That's the look. I'll go to the replay to show what happened there. said you're gonna get if that cornerback bites on the outside right there second he does that I mean I could lob it now <laughs> you know what I mean like he's already if he's even he's leaving that's basically the bottom line if he bites and takes the outside bait you just basically wait for him to turn up and now it's an easy bullet pass it outside for one play touchdown so that's the man side the zone side will work against just about anything but we'll start off with Tampa 2. Streak the, like I said, streak the Y route, put the A route on a drag, block the running back. That's pretty much the play. Although I accidentally gave myself double drags, but yeah, the X route here is gonna have a lot of success getting outside of cover two zones. As you can see, we get a very easy one play touchdown there. This play will work the same against cover three um, if you wanna run it like this. As you can see, he's going to get outside of that coverage eventually because of the streak. We'll also have that success against cover four. But I find it's best to streak these guys, block your running back, motion out the X route. And the Y route here will have a very big play up the seams. You can see we really stretch that out and get an easy one play touchdown. So left side zone, right side man. Next up we have the close PA sale. If you have a fast enough wide receiver, all you have to do is put the X route on a drag and uh, run it from the hash mark. And this B route, a lot of times, will get inside uh, the safety for a one play touchdown against cover three. But you need good speed. I do have the top safety in the game right there covering that, but you can see how you can have success. 
Next up, we got the close PA cross. This is a good cover three or cover four one play touchdown as is. Uh, just block the running back and make sure that you roll in the direction of the throw. As soon as it gets inside the safeties at the bullet and passing it over the top, and you can see you can get behind pretty much any defense as long as you have enough speed. I'll go to the replay real quick just to show you guys what I'm looking for. Um, because like I said, there is a glitch. It's been in the game for a very long time that when you roll in the direction of safeties, they typically don't draw back as quick. Now here, the safety does draw back, but basically I'm just waiting for this guy. Once he gets inside of this safety like that, I can pretty much throw the ball. So you can see I actually kind of threw that a little bit early, but you can see the second he's beyond the 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 strong safety the only person that can really make a play on this is the strong safety so once he gets past that depth it's also a pretty safe time to throw because i'm bullet pass leading away from this safety so there's not really a play that he can make and i'm just basically throwing it to space other than that this play has a lot of good man and zone beaters if you go against like a cover two zone or cover two man i'm sorry you basically have a couple of good routes the crossing routes are all good routes when it comes to cover two uh, or any man really so the rb route the b route all these routes are going to have success when it comes to um, pretty much any zone i mean man or zone but against man your tight ends are going to be good against zone um, you're gonna have a lot of success as well. So we'll go cover three locks just to show you guys uh, That you can basically just run this so like a lot of plays that I'm showing We're basically just kind of reading from front to back and then you can see that you know One of these guys is gonna get up against pretty much any man or zone defense next up We got the halfback blunt dive which is one of the better run formations in the in the uh... <laughs> Just one of the better run plays in the formation you pretty much want to look for a uh, lane like this where typically that defensive end is out wide enough that um, he takes himself out of the play. That's pretty much the best way to, uh, to put it. Typically that left guard will pull and get to that second level right there. He didn't quite get enough, uh, but that's pretty much gonna be your, your look. The only other look you're gonna want is like right here, you can see they're kind of spread. I would rather flip this though. We have a lane here and uh, you can see we have additional blocking. So we should have somebody get to that second level and you can treat this like a stretch run right there. I messed it up by hitting my lineman, but you can see there was a huge lane opened up to the outside there. So it's an inside read first, then you can take it outside. You can really flip it to either side with the right stick i find that the best looks going to be a spread alignment or if they're shift towards you know if they're overly shifted towards the two tight ends next up we got the halfback strut this play is going to be best against cover three and cover four zones for the most part because the cornerbacks typically drop back uh, but you can run this against just about anything um, and have success uh, ultimately though this is definitely going to be probably one of the best run plays in the formation i could flip it even out this formation also like i'm not really liking how that uh, that safety is so far out I like the fact that the safety on the other side is a little bit closer. So I want to try to get around him. So if I motion this guy across and basically even out the formation, I always want to try to have outside containment when it comes to plays like this because that's where we're going to be where you have the most success. So if you don't have outside containment um, on the strong side like I don't here because of that safety, you can always run it to the opposite side. Next up, we got the PA boot left tackle. Run this against random, but ultimately, uh, this is pretty much a man-beating play. You're going to go from the RB route to the A route to the X route. That's going to be your your looks right here. It looks like we have an all-out man blitz, um, but that's pretty much going to be a reach. This is going to be your money play against uh, man blitzes, um, but ultimately, the comeback route is going to be good as well. It looks like we have another man blitz. I picked random, I swear. But here, I mean, this uh, the RB route was getting across that really well, and then got caught up at the last second. But like I said, you're reading that first. You're reading that RB route. Typically, he'll get open best under cover three and cover four zones, like right here. I'm not really sure what he has, but none of those guys really got separation. So taking the X route as your last read, um, the the uh, the B route really isn't part of the read structure at all. Let's do that one more time. I think I threw that ball a little bit late. Uh, and then you can see right here, you know, we can get in front of that. I mean, one of those three routes will be open just about every single time. Next up, we have the halfback inside zone. It's another play from this formation where essentially, um, you know, it's the best inside run in the formation. There's no real reads needed. Um, except, you know, you just want to make sure that you have a little bit of a gap to the left side. But this, this play here does a pretty good job of blowing open holes. These inside zone runs are definitely some of the most consistent in Madden 22. And it works really well with the stretch play. So, like here, I could easily switch over to the stretch play because there's not necessarily a gap. Or I could just run this and try to take it outside. Uh, but without a doubt, this is, if you have spacing, if you have gaps, which a lot of defenses have, some defensive have more than others, uh, you can see how you can really have a lot of success uh, and, you know, just get to the next level like that there that uh, that guard typically will try to get to that second level he did a pretty good job there let's watch the replay early on it didn't look like this guard was going to peel off if i can get over here real quick 
Uh, all right, whatever. But yeah, so you can see he starts off with the double team. These inside zones, you typically start off with a double team and then they get to the next level, which is why I ran directly at him before peeling outside because I wanted to make sure that he sealed that block so that I would have that space. Next up, we have the PA tight end seam. Pretty much just want to drag the B route. If you want to, you can drag the RB route and give yourself an extra blocker. It really doesn't matter. But ultimately, those two routes will get open against just about anything. You're really going front to back here. You're really going to look from the short route to the, the mid route and then to the deepest route, which is the comeback, which you can see right there. I had a, a lot of success, but here we've got a man zero blitz. The comeback's going to beat that. As I, I, I don't know what happened there. I guess I made a bad adjustment after I threw the ball. But you can see against man or zone, it's really much pretty much the same read. You're just pretty much reading the drag to the crosser to the comeback route. And one of those three should be open just about every single time here probably should have threw that a little bit earlier but you can see it's just a front to back read really easy next up we have the pax burst cross it's another play that's good against random plays i'm just going to put the b route here on a streak the a route on a drag and it's pretty much you know reading front to back if the running back's open here in the flat i'm going to take that that's typical of a cover three or a cover four but i'm really working my way from front to back i'm really working from the running back to the drag to the a route the b route is really just there to pull coverage this is pretty much going to be all that i uh, that i do here and you see like i said somebody's always going to be open right there that was probably the most safe route it took me a little while to decipher because i thought that the deep route was going to be there but ultimately something will be here uh, when it comes to all these particular plays, you can see right here, that was probably a man coverage, but I think the my, my controller was on the linebacker. I got to be better about being on a defensive tackle with this remote just so I don't necessarily uh, run into those problems. Let's go through that one more time. I said that one there probably wasn't too indicative of what I was going to be looking at. I said right here, there's three levels crossing. One of them will be open every single time. The spacing is pretty impossible for any defense to take away. Next up, we have the PA Experts Cross another cover three one play touchdown on old gen consoles you have to run this from a hash mark and you have to run it to the open side of the field so i'm just going to motion in the x route here and put him on a streak then i'm going to put the b route on a streak i'm going to block the running back and slide my protection to the left that's all i really have to do then i'm just waiting for this x route to cross 35 yards so i can pass lead him away from the safety as you can see right there it gets passed although that wasn't necessarily the best catching animation we'll go ahead and we'll do that again the um, you know as far as I put the or I put the um, the B round of streak and I put the RB round of drag for a check down. As far as the blocking adjustments, that's that's not really mandatory for the play to work. I'm just doing that because I find that it works best to double team. Number one, their best pass rusher, but number two, I like to roll in the direction of the throw. And then you can see right there, we get a great pass lead. As we get the touchdown that time. So you can see it's a very easy one play touchdown as long as it's set up correctly. And you have to watch this guy here. Watch number one, you got to watch for that cornerback to stop running, which he will. Number two, you have to wait for him to pass 35 yards, which is right about here. So once he does that, I'm probably already throwing. I guess it's it's somewhere. Maybe it's not 35 yards. Maybe it's closer to 30, as you can see. The ball was out of my hand before the receiver reached that amount, but maybe it's 35 yards away from the quarterback. I'm not 100% sure. So the fact that I'm dropped back might be part of the reason why it worked. Next up, we have the stretch alert looky. This is a very good goal line play. This is a very good goal line play, as a lot of people like to come out in uh, man coverage look. So against man coverage, this is going to be a really good route. I mean, you could easily get five yards. This is a cover three I'm going against right now, and still having a lot of success. The cover three, however, is also, uh, you know, cover three, cover four. The running back is going to be one of the better plays, as you can see. I mean, there's typically nothing out here. The cornerbacks drop back in those scenarios and cover three and cover four off zones. You can also control the formation by motioning this guy out and you can see the, the defense shifts away from the direction I'm going. And it would also help to get um, you know that cornerback a lot of times. As you can see, I feel it's best to leave the tight end in. You have the option if you want to, to motion the formation because this offensive formation um, is really what controls the defense as odd as that sounds. This formation here because of the three tight end set and the offset basically shifts the forcefully shifts the defense to a line in that direction. Next up we got the stretch wide receiver screen. This is going to be best against cover three and cover four off coverages. 
Uh, essentially, these screenplays are just really good anytime um, you know they run off coverage, cover three, cover four. It's really that simple. You have your stretch play, but you can't flip it, uh, so it's not like the other play. And you have to hold the button to to hand it off. Actually, I'm not sure you have to hold the button if it just hands off automatically. But typically, it's a good run play to the right side, uh, which is you know successful maybe against a couple different coverages compared to the the X route, which is really just successful against cover three and cover four. Uh, but ultimately, you can you know this is just a good play to to mix in. Uh, to confuse your opponent. Next up, we have the tight end attack. This play here, just coming up with the B route on an in route. You can block the running back if you want to, although he has a pretty good check down. All you're going to do is read the shortest routes to the deepest routes once again. The A route, the B route, all the, uh, you know, the crossing routes are pretty much the two reads. They just uh, separate at a little bit of a different timing than some of the plays from this formation. But ultimately, it gives you a really good um, level, a series levels of passing from short to deep. And you can see, you can get some pretty big plays with this play on offense. Next up, we got the halfback stretch. It's not a place to invest against cover three. As you can see, any off coverage um, where the uh, the cornerbacks drop back, it's going to be one of the better runs. Next up, we got the inside zone weak. Probably the best run play in the formation. Um, you can see how the, the receiver pulls the linebacker out a lot of times. Uh, away from the, the line of scrimmage based off of what you're looking at there on the last play did here will not but ultimately this is just a really good inside zone play it's best to be used with the stretch play as a good counter like right here to have the stretch you know if it's a man coverage there's no cornerback out there this is going to be the perfect opportunity to hit a stretch run to the opposite side so that's really going to be the two plays in this formation here it looks like we have a cover three. Like I said, this is just, you know, the blocking on a play like this for some reason just does a really good job. Uh, the inside run is much better than the outside run. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.